What just happened? I'm Dan. That's Julia. That's backface. Wow. Uh, okay, so we're here. <laughs> we're here to talk episode eight, the season finale of Constellation season. I'm not going to say series. We'll talk about that in just a second. The episode was called "These Fragments." I have shored against my ruin. All right, we're going to talk about this at the end, but I feel like what's the saying? The elephant in the room. I need to say this now. That final shot has to guarantee a season two. Do you guys? Agree? Oh yeah, agreed. I think so. Uh, you can't. You can't end it with that. Completely. You can't. Come on. Can't. Well, that- and that and like some of the other stuff we'll talk about. I- I just, they have to. They have to. I mean, that final shot, it it, it broke me. Oh, and same. It, it, and you texted the, the group chat the same thing I was going to text you <laughs> at the same time. So it's like we're in alternate universes. But all right, let's get into it. <laughs> this show was fantastic. I'm so happy with how it ended. And I hope they green light season two tomorrow. I hope it's, <laughs> yeah, we're coming back. So, all right. Starts off, we see Joe in space. That comes back later. I'm always with you. No matter what happens, my eyes are always on you. She's having a little monologue. And then we see her get taken to a clinic where Irina is awaiting. And she sees the Valia, which we find out is Irina in this episode. Bud wakes up, so he didn't die like someone thought in the live stream. He was on, he was just on the floor for some reason. Wakes up, grabs Cal, grabs the recorder. He plays the tape of his Apollo mission when everyone survived. Sorry for the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Apple. And so he's playing the tape where everyone survived. And then he's like, screw this, grabs an axe, destroys Cal. What is that going to do, destroying Cal? Is, how is that going to affect further stuff? Anything on that? I feel like he's trying to destroy the bridge between the two worlds, the thing Me that too. was kind of making them. But then uh, we'll get into why I think that's in vain a little later. Yeah, okay. I would agree with that completely. So. Okay. All right. Well, during this, they were doing what? Shock therapy on Joe? Is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sometimes. Yeah. Of... Which, like, I'm wondering if they did that on, like, all of the astronauts who came back. So, like, did they do that on Henry? Did they do that on Irina? You know, is that, like, a normal part of the process? Or is that just because they know that this is, like, getting out of hand or whatever? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that happens. And I'm going to refer to them as blue and red for as much as I can in this episode. So, Blue Alice and Magnus get home. She tells him mommy is dead and her body is still up there. But of course, you know, he's not having any of this. The the Blue Magnus is like, You just spent two days with her at the cabin. I heard it. Mommy's alive. She's just not with us. And she says there's another Alice and it's her mom that came back. He's very hesitant. She's very sure. This comes full circle towards the end. And then we see the first image of the ultrasound, which Jules, go on. I mean, obviously you see that it looks like two cells like intertwined. So it has to be like a reflection of this whole, what's it called? Quantum entanglement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So like that has to be like symbolic of this whole quantum entanglement thing. Right. Yeah. So I wonder what's going to happen if she gives birth. How's that going to play out? That's breaking my mind. I feel like the baby becomes the cow. You think? Yeah. Oh, I kind of like that. that. So the the fact that that it's a Magnus from red and the the Joe from blue. blue. Is that, do I have that right? I think it's uh, Magnus from blue. Joe from red. Joe Joe from red. Right, right. Yeah. 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 So the fact that they are having a baby together is going to attach their two worlds the same way the Cal did. So Henry are going to be slipping. and Um, Obviously next season they're going to be after this baby. So. Yep. (sighs) Chills. Literal literal chills, man. So cool. All right. So Henry is being locked up for Bud's actions. They also mentioned the death on the boat. Furthermore, that Mr. Caldera threw Mr. Ian Rogers from the stern of the SS Bernice off the coast of Santa Barbara. So now we got the timeline figured out of this was all after the 
incident on the boat when he shot Paul and then switched over to Henry's universe. Henry tries to explain the situation, says he's not Bud. He's like, I didn't write this book. This isn't me. Give me a polygraph. Check my DNA. It's going to be different. And they're like, okay, crazy guy, whatever. Uh, but they end up doing the polygraph later. Bud blames Cal being destroyed on Joe while he's talking to Frederick. Well, Christ knows how much it costs, probably millions. But she's taking a fucking axe and giving it 40 fucking wax. So that's just a way for him to say, I don't want this machine around because I don't want to go back to that universe. And why not just blame yeah, it on Yeah, but he Joe? doesn't want... Yeah, but he he doesn't want it to be his fault. It's very exactly. butt of him. Very butt of him, yes. And then Joe wakes up. She's wondering why she's locked away. She's like, what am I in prison here or something like this? So I just thought the scene was pretty funny. Alice is pissed at Magnus and says the breakfast tastes like shit. And he says, you never <laughs> tasted shit. It tastes like shit. It does not taste like shit. You've never tasted shit. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was a nice little line. I've never actually he heard that comeback before. Joe finds out she is four weeks pregnant. So, backface, you said they did have sex when she got back from space. Yes. So yeah. it's right. Magnus. Magnus is the father. It's not Frederick. And this is the Alice that wasn't cheating. So she was never in that situation to begin with. It was Red Alice that was cheating. Or no, Joe. it was Blue. blue it was Blue, blue Joe. Alice. Blue, Blue Joe. Joe. <laughs> yeah, it was Blue Joe that was cheating, not Red Joe. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So she realizes that Irina is the Valia because she kind of sees a flash of her face and she's like, It's, it's you, Bakro Agoin. You're the Valia and you're the one that said that the world is the other way around. And Irina kind of walks off, doesn't want to deal with the situation right now, even though she knows what she's saying is correct. Agoin, Agoin, Capsula Gary. And right. she kind of comes back to that later. And then Henry's taking his polygraph. He's trying to explain the situation. He's like, I didn't shoot Paul, but I might have killed him because of this cow experiment that I came up with. And they're kind of just so confused with what the hell he's talking about. But then we see Ilya. I like Ilya a lot. He comes to see Joe. She tells him the situation about being sent to a different universe and how Irina is the dead cosmonaut that caused the explosion, whatever, the collision on the ISS in her universe. And he kind of doesn't seem to be on board with what she's talking about, but at the same time has her back because he gives her keys to break out. What do you think about I that? I mean, that's that's a real, that's an OG friend right there. Yeah, he's like, he's I don't. Like, ah, you might be like batshit crazy, but I got you. You know, I got you. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I, I like that. I, I really like the scene where Magnus was in therapy in both different universes. Right. That was really cool. Yeah. And the red Magnus is saying how he says he thought he saw Joe, but they're both having a therapy session. They both say the same thing. I'll put it in right here. Feels like we're all floating in space. It just. Feels like we're all floating in space. And it's a really cool shot of having them do the same thing at the same time in different universes. It's I thought that was really cool. This show has tons yeah. of cool shots. Uh, I really like the yeah. the camera work yeah, in this. I've, I've been very impressed with that for sure. Bud posing as Henry goes to see Irina, but he's not posing for very long because he says, Hey, I'm not Henry. I'm not Henry. Henry is gone, and knock on wood, if I'm lucky, he'll never be around again. I'm Bud, and he says, you can deny it and cover it up all you want, like you always have, but I know what happened, I know what's going on, you're full of shit, lady, and she kind of just takes a step back in that moment, and we see what she does with her email later on, so I think it kind of got to her, but, you know, Bud did come to fuck shit up, and he did destroy Cal, he wasn't as ruthless as I thought he might have been in this episode. I agree. Um, I kind of thought he would take advantage of being able to like just further sully his name or Henry, right. I guess. But if he's not planning on switching back, I guess why would he, you know? Yeah, he just wants to take Henry's life and, and just never go back. He never wants to go back. Of course, he doesn't want to go back. He's a murderer slash attempted murderer in that universe. So he wants to stay in this universe. So that's why he destroyed Cal and he's not 
denying who he is to Irina, though, which was pretty interesting. So Joe has the keys in her hand. She's planning on breaking out, but she goes upstairs to check that screaming noise that she heard earlier. Bagface, you got anything on this? It confused the shit out of me. She sees two versions of an old man who called her mama. Did they call her mama? Mama. Mama. Yes. What was that all about? For a second, I kind of thought maybe they're playing off that that's like her child from the future or okay. something. Okay. But also could just be a crazy person kind of, I'm assuming something like what her baby is going to be. If yeah. It doesn't take lithium or if yeah. maybe if Joe didn't take lithium, that's eventually what happens. That, that was kind of implied okay. by Irina, but yeah. I don't know if Irina's the most honest actor. So it's kind of hard to tell if you should believe what she's saying or not. Yeah, that's yeah. very true. Well, it convinced her to go back to bed. She saw that and she was like, all right, maybe I shouldn't break out. Let me stick this out. Maybe I should take my pills. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Let me wait this out a little longer. So Alice is talking to Wendy in both universes. They're kind of having the same conversation in both universes, except Wendy's talking about how her dad died and Alice is talking about how her mom died. And it's just kind of the same conversation just swapped. And then after this, she comes out of the cupboard and Blue Alice says to Magnus, Daddy, I know it's all make-believe what she said i know she didn't die can we go see her but she's just saying that just so she can go see joe of course we know how she really feels uh, and then she sees the toy recorder in a box and now both alice's have the recorder again they communicate but blue alice won't respond alice 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 Why do you think that? Because she wants to keep Joe. Yeah. 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 And like, even if she could give her back, like, I don't think she would, but I think she feels guilty about it. So she doesn't okay. want to like talk to the other Alice. Yeah. Because like okay. I would. Well, I thought it was a really sweet scene after this when we see Red Alice as they're walking to the red car and it's definitely Red Alice. And she says she's not going to look for mama anymore. And she says the other Alice is just luckier. mama is still at home. That's a great way to look at it. And she kind of is really mature about it and really sweet. Yeah. And she's like, are you proud of me? You know, I, I thought that was a really nice moment that she had. And yeah. like I said, I feel really bad for her in this moment because it is her mom that she's not getting back. And what happens at the end of the episode, maybe she will get her back. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that was that was a really sweet and touching <gasps> moment. And the thing is, like, it's kind of bullshit. Like, Alice, why? How come of all people, Alice is getting dragged into this? You know what I mean? I know. Yeah. Like, everyone else was, like, literally in space. Yeah. And But also, shout out to the twins that play the Alices. It's two real life twins that play Alice. I think they are, did such a good job. I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the cast all around in the show, really, really good. But, like, Fabulous. for a child... For child actors, those two twins, man, they crushed it. They did a great job. So Henry's plan doesn't work, and he gets charged with murder and attempted murder. Apparently, the DNA still matched up, even though it's not the same person. But he did pass the polygraph, but that's they're just like, that's because I, I don't you, think that was true, saying. by the way. You, you think they bullshitted that? Yeah, I think the cops were bullshitting, and his DNA oh, doesn't so do actually match. Yeah. Nope. The DNA is exactly the same. And the polygraph only proves that you think that what you're saying is true. Just I'll the way they played that. it in the scene. It, it was yeah. it was like she was about to say that, yeah, the DNA was reversed, but the other cop kind of steps in and is like, no, which is something that cops do in interrogations all the yeah, time. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, I get that. Yeah. Okay. I, I believe that. Now, Bud goes to see a man named Ian Rogers. That's the guy he threw off the boat in the other universe, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. So he like kind of threatens him, but then gives him flowers, and he's like, "Oh, I know who you are." And I'm a retired police officer. I know. That guy Ian must have been <laughs> so confused uh, as he was giving a Jack the Ripper tour. Went down a strange alley as you're giving a Jack the Ripper tour. Good luck with that, man. But yeah, that was uh, a little bit sinister of Bud to do that. And he's like, "Yeah, hey, I killed you before." But <laughs> yeah, I'll, but at the I'll same time. Go. I feel like that's kind of his way of like making amends, sort of. Yeah, I could see that. At least that's yeah. what it kind of felt like. He was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hey, but yeah. yeah, what does he say when on he, being alive? Okay, when he here's leaves, some flowers. He says, like, live a nice life. 
Live your best life, Ian Rogers. Yeah, it made me feel like it was his. He felt remorse almost for what he did. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And then Joe asks about the men upstairs. Irina says there's only one man and he was the first man in space. And then she goes on to say, hey, you have a child here. You have a child on the way. Accept this and let it go. Accept this and let go. Because whatever it is, it cannot be undone. Even though Irina really knows that she's not the right Alice from this timeline, from this universe, she's just like, hey, accept what you have here and be happy. And Joe doesn't really want to go with it at first. She's like, it's my daughter. I want to get back to my daughter. Couldn't you understand that? Yeah. So she's, she's kind of having a tough time. You cannot change it. Ever. What'd you guys think of that scene? I thought it was interesting to see her kind of deal with that. I mean, yeah, for sure. But truthfully, like, what else is she supposed to do? Yeah. If there's no way for her to get back. I mean, I understand her wanting to continue to try. But at some point, you know, if that's not working, it's might as well make make a good life with what you have. It's even more sinister because Irina knows now that Bud and Henry switch places because it's right. their right. meeting. So right. it kind of has like a sinister feeling where she knows that Joe could find a way back and there technically is a way back because that just happened. But yeah, she doesn't really let Joe in on, on that secret and kind of plays it off really close to the chest. And that's why I have a hard time like believing anything she says in the episode. Oh, yeah. 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 She says that very believably. That's true. That's very true. But do you think she knows like if this is the case that you know, Joe actually wouldn't be able to switch back because her physical body in the other universe is not a thing. Well, well maybe. <laughs> shut up, Dan. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, because well, okay. if that's the case, I feel like maybe it's it's almost like more of an intimate scene because she has like that firsthand understanding of being stuck in the wrong place. You sure. know, because she can't yeah. she can't switch back. She can't switch back because her other self is definitely dead. And she's like dead, the dead, dead cosmonaut that collided with the ISS. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, insane. <laughs> so I guess that's the way she's thinking of it. A really nice scene with Blue Alice and Red Joe. They're talking. Blue Alice says she thinks that the other Alice thinks this is OK. She thinks she's okay with it now and she's kind of accepting it and moving forward and that they just have to accept it now. And she asked Joe if we do accept it. And Joe says, you know, look, your mother would be proud. But then Alice goes, well, are you proud? Because at this point, Alice wants this Joe to be her mom. She's I mean, like, yeah. yeah, I'm proud. And she's like, I need a mommy. She says, mommy. And Joe says, I need an Alice. I need a mommy. I need an Alice. That's me. Mommy, that can be me. So it's kind of, they're both on the same page, finally, at this point to kind of move forward with their lives. As of now, since we get more info later at the end of the episode, but as of now, they're both just like, yeah, let's move forward. Let's both be happy. Your mom would be proud. I'm proud. I think you're a great kid. She's an exceptional kid, she says. So I thought that was a really nice scene. I, I really enjoyed it. That was. And then Joe tells Magnus she will start taking the pills if it means she can come home with them and have a life together with them. But he asked about the baby. He's like, are we fit to have this baby? Uh, and then he's like, do you want this baby? And Joe's like, well, do you want this baby? And then they show the picture of the ultrasound again. And then I wrote down question mark. What's with this damn picture? But well, we kind of went over it already. Yeah, and... yeah. Just so everyone knows, there's no way she's not having that damn baby. Yeah, oh, there's yeah. no shot. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're not going to let her not have that baby. Yeah, so. I think that would be really cool for season two. If like back, they said that the baby ends up being like the new cow. That would be really That'd cool. Be dope. So then uh, Irina seems like she was spooked earlier. So she starts typing up an email saying that space travel drives people mad. And she's basically reaching out to see if other cosmonauts, astronauts want to report on their own issues to her directly to kind of open up. And that's showing a human side of her, I guess, for the first time that I noticed, unless that was taken differently. What do you what do you make of it? I, I took it as like uh, she's trying to suss out who else 
is experiencing this and she's going to try and figure out if anybody is crossed back and forth like button Henry uh, okay did. so it's still her yeah trying it's like to... okay it, like she's trying to figure out like who's actually noticing these symptoms got it all right okay. but she does say she does say they can do it anonymously though i'm asking whether you might be willing to report any of your own issues anonymously to me yeah, she does. She feels Although like how... a person with enough power that nothing is really anonymous to her. Oh, for sure. Yeah. She's yeah. she's gonna be like, oh, track this IP address for me. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So we have one quick scene with Paul. He wakes up, he didn't die. Thankfully, that actor is great. Yeah. Hopefully, we get more of him in season two. Says he saw something, you know. We don't really know what he saw. Maybe it was a flash of his other self or something like that. I I don't know that he's I think it, it was because yeah. If you noticed, he like was looking at his arms, like shocked that they were there. Paul, let go. Let go. And we know mm. that the, the version of him that died, his arms came off. I feel like that would make sense that he saw himself. Mm, that does make okay. sense. Good catch. I like that. I like that a lot. Hopefully we get confirmation tomorrow that season two is coming out and we get more Paul because that guy crushed his episode and I can't yeah. wait to see more of him. And then Joe apologizes to Magnus, asks if she seems like his Joe. He's like, no, you don't. But then she says that she loves him and she wants him more than she ever did. I love you and I, I want you more than I did. He agrees. Me too. So they're kind of having a very happy moment together. Irina sits with Alice, gives her a gift, and Alice goes, what's your name? She's like, Irina Vasenko, but my friends call me Valia. But my friends call me Valia. So I was like, all right, you're going to fuck with this little kid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. Does she know uh, that Alice sees the value though i don't i don't know, I don't know if she does at this point yeah i don't, I don't know. think she does i don't but... which is messed up <laughs> yeah it is yeah it'd be more messed up if she did know though don't you it think it feels like she knows just by how she whispers it she, yes like, gets it nice and close and i was like oh my god she yeah knows. i also don't trust her at all so there's that no. <laughs> yeah not at all i totally take back my humanizing her line from earlier <laughs> she's just a bitch Okay, <laughs> just a bitch. And then the scene with Al Alice, she's like, you know, I'm from here. You're from there. Where's this baby from? Which is bizarre to think about, but it's from both. If I'm from here and daddy's from here and you're from there, where's the baby going to be from? Yeah. So cool. Maybe they do a little time jump for season two and the baby's born and we get okay. some of that info quick. In season two, I think that would be really interesting. And then, okay, guys, here it is. Here it is. This is what y'all have been waiting for. So then we see Joe from the beginning of the episode doing this monologue, talking to Alice. And then they zoom in right up to her face. It's it's like Two-Face from The Dark Knight where her eye is off and some of her face is off. And, and she grabs the iPad and she's alive. What the fuck? I, mm, what is that mm, i have no idea <laughs> i'm what wondering if i'm wondering if it has something to do with the cow being destroyed because now know, it like doesn't exist in either exists. universe like there was the dead cosmonaut before this which makes me think this is what happens like okay if if she's still alive but not alive would that mean that paul is also still alive but not alive and paul pressed the button for joe and joe pressed the button for paul like the dead versions of themselves that they left on the ISS. Could I, be. I guess so. That's the best lead I got that makes sense to my, to my brain right now. Because that final shot totally messed me up. Yeah. I thought I had totally. it and then it just slipped out of my hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally messed me up. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, to tell you the truth, I would love to do one more video for this show on your guys' comments on that final shot, mm -hmm. on the final episode in general. We can do a kind of series wrap up and talk about your comments. I would love to do that. So, if you guys want to just go nuts in the comment section and put what all you think below, we have plenty of time to do it. Our next show starts April 5th, my birthday. I'll be turning 30. 35. Um, 
-hmm. And that's uh, Sugar, also on Apple TV+. Plus. So we have time to do a follow-up video if you guys would like that. I think that would be fun. So put all your theories below, or not theories, like thoughts on the final shot. What do you think about a season two? Do you want a season two? I, I sure hope so. So, yep. Thanks so much for being here along the ride. And we will see you for Sugar starting April 5th. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later. Read this. I didn't write this. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? That just happened.